Okay. I'll be serious. So my last video, I read a little prose by Camus, which I think perfectly encapsulates absurdism. So absurdism is a tenet in philosophy, which kind of states that the universe, our lives, the world is chaotic and meaningless. Um, that there's, you know, no greater power out there looking over us. There is no like determined fate for every, everybody out there. There is no meaning to life. We live, we die, we become warm food. That's it. And while that can seem really depressing, it's not. I mean, depending on how you look at it, I mean, you can take like a nihilistic, fatalistic look at it, <clears throat> but not, not um, Albert Camus. So the existentialist would say that the meaning to life is finding your essence. So that would be like you're calling your purpose um, whether or not you like a doctor and you, you know, your essence would be like healing or, you know, um, like I'm creative. So, you know, my essence is, you know, to create, um, uh, the absurdist says, you know, that's absurd, you know, trying to find, you know, the meaning in life through your essence, that's absurd because you're trying to putting meaning on something that's completely ab absurd. The meaning in life, life is meant to be lived. So in, in that prose, when Cam Camus was talking about, you know, and the, the most quoted part of that is um, in Winter Finding Invincible Summer, is talking about, you know, highlighting how in life we go through these tribulations and really dark times and through those times we persevere and we can find our strength and in the on the other side of that darkness is joy and even if you know the the greater cosmos and you know life itself is meaningless and no matter the high you know jeff bezos is gonna end up like the, the lowest of the low, there's still, we, there's still, um, something out there for us all to, to savor. And that is the experience of everyday life. Um, so that, that's, you know, the, the touch of another person, the, the, the joy you get when you have like a good cup of coffee, the the joy you get from watching somebody perform or, or um, the art, um, that is life. You know, um, life is the acceptance of the inevi inevitability of death and taking joy in the experiences that we have while we're here. And we see that in um, Camus' protagonist in The Stranger. Um, you know, he discovers that at the end when he's nearing his execution date. When, you know, they're trying to force religion on him for him to, like, ex you know, find meaning in, in his death, you know, he, you know, in the end is like, there is no, no meaning in it, and I'm okay with that, you know, it was, you know, we all die, but I had experiences while living, um, so, and, and also in The Stranger, when we talk about absurdism, Camus also highlights, you know, the the absurd the absurdity of how we place 
so much emphasis on standards and mores in our everyday life. I think um, there's a quote by Camus where he said something like, uh, a man would get um, sentenced to death for not crying at the death of his mother, which is essentially what the, the stranger is. You know, the protagonist commits a horrible crime, he murders somebody, but the the trial, he gets put on trial session essentially for not reacting appropriately in social situations, for not reacting appropriately when his mom died. Um, so, he, you know, he he puts, um, Camus puts the absurdist lens on that and he's like, well, what's the point? You know, what's the point in caring so much about somebody's reaction? Does it really matter? Anyways, um, sorry about the audio. I couldn't find my microphone. I'm having like crazy tech issues. Um, I'm having back surgery tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully going to get my life back soon. Thank you all for tuning in and mwah! talk to you soon.